Today I really hate everybody And that's just me being real Yeah Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday Bad bitches have bad days too What's up y'all? It's Auntie Keish here from The Clinical Cookout And this week we'll be talking about friendship and anxiety now, I'm no stranger to having a lot of friends. I have had friends for five years, 10 years, and I even have friendships that have been gone on for about 20, 25 years. And let me just tell you, I love my friends. I'm a Leo. So if there's any Leos out there, we know how loyal we can get to our friendships. However, sometimes some of those friendships will come to an end. And you know what they, you know what the saying is, sometimes people are in your life for a reason or for a season. And it's the ones that's in there for a season. It's the ones we really got to wrap our minds around when it comes to that friendship ending. And I'll be the first to say that ending a friendship is not easy. It's just not an easy thing. And it does cause a lot of probably distress, uh, maybe for other people, but I know specifically for me, it has caused a lot of distress for me. And I think it's important to have these open and honest conversations about friendships, bringing up these distressing emotions for people, because I tend to think about friendships just like I think about relationships. Like you have to go and evaluate them. And if it's not giving you what you need to thrive or pouring back into you, then what are you doing here? And that may be very hard for people to understand because like relationships, we often say, okay, well, we should just get rid of this or walk away. Or you got those individuals who typically don't walk away from toxic relationships because that's where their comfort level is or it's because they've known somebody for a long time. The same thing can be applied to friendships. But I know that it's not as easy either. Sometimes we keep people around because we've known them for a long time or simply because it's comfort. There may even be some hesitation there because of the unknown. Just like how you get out of another relationship. We don't know what's going to happen. We don't know what our interactions will be after we separate. And you know what? It's okay not to know that right now. It's okay to feel some of that anxiety when it comes to a long relationship or friendship ending. But... Unfortunately, I know that there are some people still stuck in friendships that they shouldn't be stuck in. I was one of them, but I've learned my lesson. Anyway, if you want to hear us talk about friendship and anxiety and me sharing my own personal story on the clinical cookout, you might want to tune in this Wednesday at 8 p.m. to watch all the aunties talk about their friendships. See you then.